So the old Samsung TV is still here for some reason. I guess my dad forgot to take it up this morning or something. But I got the main board to come out and I took it out of that little plastic casing like in the last video. And I've been looking at this main board and I'm going to salvage the capacitors off of it and then at the end of this video I'm going to have some fun with all this stuff. But there's one thing and it is probably the very reason why this TV quit working. Look at that. It looks like an electrical component blew up and just spilled its guts all over the bottom of this main board. I mean, it looks terrible. There's rust corrosion. It's pretty much the whole thing is corroded. And so this thing is probably non-functional. But if you look at the metal contacts and everything, it was... I mean, I gotta give kudos to the guy that laid out all the designs for this board because it is laid out very well and it is awesome and under here there's still stuff labeled it's horizontal out right there sound amp that's the circuitry for the sound amp and for the power circuit down here and basically what this board does is the AC power comes in through here and then right here in this little area think pretty much this area and this area it converts AC to DC and that's what powers the board so I'm gonna solder these components off of here real quick and then we're gonna have some fun with it Alright, first up is this giant capacitor. Let me move this webcam out of the way. That thing is the smell of the inside of that TV times a million. Oh. <laughs> that thing's got to be old. That had a pretty nice reaction though. Oh, that was good. While you look at my awesome Christmas tree with shotgun shell lights, I just want to go ahead and let you know that in this next clip is an example of not using proper safety precautions and I really should have run an extension cable out in the yard and it was really my big mistake so watch this with caution and don't do what happens in this next clip alright we're moving on to capacitors let's see what this one does maybe don't pop in my face go! Oh! <laughs> just, the thing in there just... Oh god. Gents and ladies, it's photonic induction. We're going to plug this capacitor into alternating current and watch it blow. Let's see what happens. <laughs> I do a terrible photonic induction impersonation. But anyways, you can see it's out in the yard far away from me now, so let's do this. Let me get my destruction chair ready. In three, two, one. There you go. That's funny though, didn't, that one didn't have a very violent pop like the other one did, and that's the same size. That must have been electrolytic and not that other type with the dust looking stuff in it like that one that blew up was. Oh well. Look at this. The capacitor has no signs of venting or anything. Only evidence is that one of the metal contacts were blew off. So that's pretty neat. Alright, now for the mega pop. Let's do this.
still not doing anything. We're gonna have to get a smaller capacitor. Alright. Now for the final pop. Three volt capacitor. I'd say that was a pretty good pop. At first I won't have it, but now I am. Let's pop a few more. Now for the last pop of the day, the Super Ultra Mega Pop. Let's do this. say that was one super ultra mega pop. I'll see you guys later.